Welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is the first time i'm actually filming back to back because last night oh, this morning 1 a.m yeah i've just finished filming um my travel prep and i'm going to this vlog is going to be like the travel vlog yes so we're going to penang and we're going uh with the bus I'm so excited that it's a road trip. Even though in Nigeria, I don't be excited to go to school with um, public transport. But anyway, that one, the bus is different. But yeah, I'm so excited it's a road trip. Our bus leaves by 8.30. So we're going to leave the house by like 7.15. I'm just so excited and I'm going to carry you guys along because I've never been to Penang before. I've heard a lot of nice things about Penang. So I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I need to actually leave KL and have a breath of fresh air from another place. Like, I don't know. There's just something about being in one place for a very long time. So I'm so excited that we're leaving. We're going to be gone for four days. And I don't know, it just feels like a very long ass weekend. Because today is Friday and we're going to be gone till Monday. We're coming back on Monday. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And let's go to Penang.
Hey guys, so we're at the hotel now. We just got here. Come on, the trip to this place was actually very, very exhausting because the main um what's it called? The main bus we paid for that was not what they gave us. They was another old bus again. The bus now stopped on the road. The fan of the bus was not really working so it stopped on the road we now had to like stand and wait for another bus that is going to like penang that would take us we shall got another bus and then now dropped us in one place again that is like really far from the hotel after dropping us there we now had to take like the ferry to come to um a closer port that's like the penang port yeah we took a ferry to the penang port after taking the ferry to the penang port we now uh took uh uber grab to the hotel but what's your here i'm so excited the hotel actually looks so nice can you guys see it's so pretty i'm so excited and i can't wait to see every single thing penang has to offer like when we're driving down here like you see what we're seeing we're just like oh my god oh my god we need to check this place out we need to check but there's only little we can check out and i'll try as much as i can to vlog it but at the same time i'm going to be um i'm going to try so hard to enjoy it myself so in case i don't vlog like every single thing i'll start try my best yeah so right now we're checking in and then i'll see you guys later when i'm calm bye Okay, this is the second balcony and it's so pretty. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> so over there is the beach behind the palm trees. I can't wait to actually go there and get to that will be the first time that I actually go to a beach in my entire life. Right now, I'm extremely hungry and I've not actually eaten since morning. And this is like, what's the time? This is like 4 p.m. Man, the way I'm not fasting. Yeah, we're going to my look for what to eat. And I'll talk to you guys later because I need to just sit down and like soak everything in. And finally, believe that I'm actually here. <laughs> You can put a hundred gram on it Anything I said, I stamp on it In a private plane, I lamp on it Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it Cause I walk around with the bank on it Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on it 
Cross my fingers up on a bang on them. Lele ho, lele ho, yeah. Tobalo ko macho, yeah. Tobalo ma ko macho, yeah. yeah. Nobody you. know tomorrow. Choro ka choro. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he come at us. No. So today is the next day. Today is day two in Penang. And I just had breakfast and right now we're just walking on the beach trying to soak in nature. The camera is not even doing justice to what I'm seeing. Like it's so surreal, so I don't know, it just looks so good. Anyway, so today's plan is right now we're going to go back upstairs, we're going to shower and then we're going to put on like the outfit we planned for today. Then after that we're going to take pictures, just enjoy everywhere. And after taking pictures, I think we're going into town today. Yeah, to I don't know if we're going to the mall, but I think we have a few tourist that, tourist sites we want to see. And I'll try so hard to vlog what I can so you guys watching the video can actually enjoy it too. And yeah, I was eating breakfast today and a bird came to steal my sausage. Like, can you imagine? Such disrespect. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Anytime I knock, I knock it out. No rubber band, no rubber band. Every time I'm down, they show me that. If I know, loud, she got my back. I die, ooh, I'm happy that. We just took pictures now, and it actually came out so nice. Oh, this place is dark. It actually came out so nice. Right now, we're going to Entopia. It's like a butterfly and, a, and an insect garden. So after there, we're going to one something something a floating mosque shop it's not like it's floating floating but it was built on the sea and that's what we have for today and then we're also going to the mall after that and i don't know what we're going to do next but yeah yes right now we're going to the butterfly and insects garden farm yes Bye. 
the last thing i said to the camera but i think the last time i spoke was when we're leaving the house in the morning it's actually 6 p.m right now we like when we left the house it was raining so we couldn't go to the we went to entopia but then we couldn't see like the butterfly garden we couldn't see it because it's an open space and it was since it was raining the butterflies will not be running about and then we'll also get wet yeah, it was raining so the rain stopped us from going inside there but then we entered the um the store there where they sell like uh scented candles um butterfly antiques and stuff like that so we got this i don't know if i took a video of it or if i don't know if i took a video of it if i didn't i don't know if i'll show you guys but yeah apparently every single uh design every single item for sale like the frames the antiques the um bookmarks every single thing that had like this picture or somewhat of a butterfly is uh, apparently it's real there are real butterflies in it and real insects so yeah it was actually cool to see that and after that we went to one mall it's called the gorney gorney plaza or gorney mall so when we got there we couldn't eat anything there because most of what they had there were korean food and we weren't in the mood for korean food so we left there and then we went to this place called this mall called komta yeah this it's a complex actually komta so we ate at the top view restaurant it's on the 68th floor yeah the view from there was actually really nice it was all cool the food there was nice too we enjoyed ourselves there actually it was like it was actually a really nice experience then after that it stopped raining and then we wanted to go back to the butterfly garden but then we just checked and it was actually closed like they closed at six so we missed that i don't know if we're going to be able to fit it in tomorrow's schedule but yeah so right now we're back home we're just resting i don't know if we're going out later in the night but if we're not i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow but if we are i don't think i will talk again i'll probably just like show little clips of it but yeah we're done with day two and i'll see you guys in day three bye
Call my home, girl, tell your best friend to stay too On the road, on no location I don't want them seeing you getting faded You should come to tonight I only kick you with a tie Cause they won't tell Cause they're trying to live their best life too Hey guys, so today is day three. Let me let me move somewhere a bit quiet. So today, so today is day three. Um, we did the boat cruise for thirty minutes, and right now we're going to to the butterfly garden. You know, I told you that we couldn't do it yesterday because it was raining, and then later in the evening they had closed. So we're doing that now and i think we're also going to the tropical spice garden and i don't know where else we're going to so right now we're just waiting for our ride to go to the butterfly garden and i'll show you guys where we go to from there Okay, just a okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Can we get it together? I don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give us something Baby, I can run all the time right. Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I Know that I need my friends, but I wouldn't wanna leave. You know I wouldn't wanna bleed. Even my heart, my mind, and my body. Say, 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 say.
You guys, I'm sad. This is the last day in Penang. I'm so sad because I really do not want to go back to KLI. Penang has been such a wonderful place. It has been so beautiful, so calm. I don't know. Now I feel like I'm uh, not in my home country. I feel like I'm abroad. When I'm in KL, it just feels like, yeah, it just feels like I'm just. But it just feels like I'm actually, it still feels, how am I saying? KL still feels weird. Like I'm still at home, like I'm still in Nigeria. Like there's nothing really special about KL. But Penang feels like I've traveled. I swear, it feels like I'm in um, another country, another place. I don't know. It, oh my God. Today is day three, by the way. Uh, it's currently... Uh, What's the time? I don't know. I don't know what time it is now. I feel like it's uh, seven or eight or... I don't really care about the time. I'm just so angry that we're leaving tomorrow. Our bus leaves by 12.30. But from here, we have to take like a cab to Penang Port. And then from Penang Port, we're going to take the ferry back to the bus station. We're leaving the resort by 10. Yeah. We said 10. Yeah, we're leaving the resort by 10. I just want to quickly ah, I just want to quickly show you guys what I got from the gift store because I feel like that's the only Did I get anything else? No, so right now is the only souvenir that I actually bought. Even though Penang has been so beautiful, I really do not care about the souvenirs. I have my videos and all that. But yeah, the souvenirs I got, I got this, I got this tote bag that says Penang. Let me open it. So this is it it actually has the zip and it has this like hand it's so cute i feel like i'm going to make this bag so far every single day i have class i'm going to take this bag everybody must know that i went to penang so it has the zip and the hand is so cute yeah my bag and uh, after this i got this bangle i wanted to get more but, but i didn't want to overdo and it has this like charm on it and then we also got magnets like our fridge has we have this thing where like when we go to a new place we have to get magnets and put it on our fridge anyway so we have this one that says uh i love penang we have this butterfly one we have this sailing wheel and then we also have this just casual one so yeah so guys what did i do today day three when we woke up we went for the boat ride after the boat ride the boat ride was so beautiful it was so that's my first time in a boat ride yeah if i'm not mistaken maybe i entered when i was a kid but yeah that's my first time and it was so beautiful like every single thing about penang is beautiful oh my god 
after that we went to the butterfly garden we weren't able to go to yesterday i think i told you guys that i told you guys when we we're going also so i think the last time i spoke to you guys was when uh before we went to the butterfly garden yeah so we got to the butterfly garden i was able to see different fishes different insects ah there are a lot of insects in this world and we even saw this uh malaysian frog i think it's the malaysian earth frog i guess i think so it had this horn i think yeah i took a video of it so i'm sure you guys must have seen it it had this horn on it and then i saw a lot of butterflies a lot of insects like so many beautiful places after we were done with the butterfly garden so there's this place where they sell food also in the butterfly garden we also um got food there and then after that we wanted to go to the tropical spice garden but because of how okay no we got to the tropical spice garden but getting there the sun was so hot and then they told us that the garden is so big and it would take us like 45 to an hour to get it done with and honestly in the butterfly garden we had walked already we're not about to walk excuse me we're not about to walk for so long again because the sun was actually so hot and then everybody was tired who makes us like walking for an hour so we just entered that while we we're waiting for our grab we entered the uh, gift shop there and yeah we just we looked around so after that we came back home and we rested guys i slept i slept i think i slept for about two three hours since we got to penang i have actually not rested and i'm not complaining because penang is too beautiful for it to be resting so like i've actually not rested but then i needed to sleep like obviously we slept in the night but then just resting and you know how like when you come for when you come to a resort you just want to sit down and look around we haven't done that in penang till today we just slept like we all slept normally i didn't even want to sleep before but we actually all slept so when we woke up um when we woke up what did we do? when we woke up well so yeah when we woke up it was already six o'clock that was when like we went to the lebanon restaurant and the lebanon rest the food in the lebanon restaurant was amazing <sighs> i don't know if you guys can tell how much i love penang like the food was so nice like see since i came to penang nothing absolutely nothing has made me regret coming here like i've not been disappointed one bit like it's almost perfect like everything just everything was just moving smoothly everything was just amazing everything was just beautiful ah my god i just wish we didn't have to leave tomorrow that's why i'm so pissed that we're leaving tomorrow but yeah anyways so yeah after we uh ate food at the lebanon restaurant then yeah that's when we went to the gift shop and now we're back home i was just going to sit down and rest then sleep then tomorrow we have breakfast come back shower and start heading back to kl it was very annoying like i don't even want to go to oh yeah in the i didn't even tell you guys oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm sure you might have noticed me doing this and doing that and doing this <laughs> i'm so sorry anyway so while we we're at the butterfly garden we got temporary tattoos i don't know why you guys think it's like i posted it on my snapchat and then people were like is your tattoo permanent is your tattoo it's not permanent tattoo is haram so i'm not about to do haram things you know but yeah so we got this i don't know if you guys can see it it's uh this like hard bit with an actual hat and i just wanted something small because if i was if tattoos were not haram i would actually get like tiny tiny tattoos like this but since it's haram we make do with the temporary one so what else again did i do that i didn't tell you guys hmm. i think that's all yeah that's all so guys apparently my phone stopped recording and i've spoken quite a lot i honestly cannot even remember what i said because my phone stopped recording because my phone was full so imagine how many clips i have already that's crazy but anyway i don't know what i said i guess i just want to tell you guys that if if you're coming to malaysia and you're looking for somewhere to relax and somewhere to just feel calm and just relax don't come to kl 
KL is actually beautiful, yeah. But if you're looking for somewhere calm to relax, don't come to KL. Come to, I've not been to Langkawi and inshallah I will visit Langkawi before I leave Malaysia. But Penang, come to Penang because Penang is actually very beautiful and relaxing. But if you're looking for hustle and bustle life, clubbing, all those kind of vibe, go to KL. That's where you'll find it. But yeah, I think I'm not going to I don't know if I said it or if I or if I was if I said this while the phone stopped recording but i feel like this is the last time i'm going to talk and yeah this is the last time i'm going to talk anyways i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video yeah don't forget to tell your friends to come and watch this beautiful vlog because i know it's going to be beautiful by the time i edit it and i hope you're able to feel what i felt coming to pena even though videos are not doing Penang justice, but it's going to be something and I hope you're able to feel beautiful. You're able to feel relaxed. You're able to feel you're able to feel so happy while you're watching the vlog Anyways, bye. I'll see you in my next video